Hello children. This is Rohini teacher. Let me know how many of you have ever been to zoo. Oh good. What is your favorite animal? Hmm just imagine what you would look like if you could look like an animal. Oh no. I don't want to look like an animal. I'm happy how I am as a human being. So children, let's start our today's poem I wish. English chapter 3. I wish I was an elephant cuz it would make me laugh to use my nose like a garden hose to rinse myself in the bath. I wish I was a dolphin. A dolphin would be my wish. Leaping and splashing. I'd be very dashing and swim along with the fish. I wish I was an ostrich. An ostrich would be grand. But if I got scared, would I be prepared to bury my head in the sand? I wish I had more wishes but now my game is through I'm happy to be quite simply me enjoying a day at the zoo Look at this picture children which animal is this Yes this is an elephant Do you know elephant is the largest animal on the land it is very strong animal It lives in forest. It has four pillar like legs and a long trunk and it has two big fan like ears. Let's see the first stanza. I wish I was an elephant cause it would make me laugh to use my nose like a garden hose to rinse myself in the bath. Here the garden hose hose means a long pipe that is spread water over a large area and rinse means wash so the speaker in the first stanza wishes to be an elephant as it would make him laugh and giggle to use his nose as the flexible water carrying tube which is generally used to water a garden to wash himself just like an elephant who fills up his trunk with water and splashes over itself let's see the next picture oh this is so beautiful which picture is this children yes this is a dolphin Do you know dolphin is a friendly and fun aquatic mammal it lives in a sea but mostly in a ocean let's see the second stanza i wish i was a dolphin a dolphin would be my wish leaping and splashing i'd be very dashing and swim along with the fish Here the speaker wishes to be a dolphin. He would enjoy dancing, jumping, springing, bouncing and splashing in the water just like a dolphin does. The entire idea appealed to be very exciting and filled with spirit when he would accompany the fish inside the water. Leaping and splashing I'd be very dashing here leaping means the act of jumping splashing means water hits or falls on something and makes a noise dashing means beautiful let's see the next picture which picture is this children oh it's a huge bird yes this is an ostrich An ostrich is a world largest bird. 
Let's see the next stanza. I wish I was an ostrich. An ostrich would be grand. But if I got scared, would I be prepared to bury my head in the sand? In this stanza, the young boy who was the speaker now wanted to become an ostrich. To him becoming an ostrich would be magnificent and great. Would be grand. Grand means look amazing, magnificent and great. Though he wasn't sure if he would bury his head in the sand. If something scared him as an ostrich is likely to do. To bury. Bury means to put something in a hole in the ground. Now come to the last stanza. I wish I had more wishes. But now my game is through. I'm happy to be quite simply me. Enjoying a day at the zoo. At the end, a little boy, means the speaker says, Though he had many more wishes, but my game is through. Here, through means finished. Now, he is satisfied and happy to be the way God made him and realized there is nothing better than a human. So, at the last, he finds happiness being a little boy who is enjoying a day at the zoo. So, children... I love to rhyme. Do you love to rhyme? So let's rhyme together and have a good time. Wish, fish, dish. Grand, sand, band. Zoo, to, who. Rest, best. Nest Nose Hose Rose Rich Switch Stitch Splashing Dashing Washing Scared Prepared Repaired. Let's see the meaning of these words. Hose. A long rubber or plastic tube that water can flow through. Rinse. Wash. Leaping. To jump high or a long way. Splashing. To fall or to make liquid fall noisily. Dashing, beautiful, grand, impressive and large. Bury, to put something in a hole in the ground. Through, finished. So children, answer the following question. Number one, who is the speaker in this poem? Answer, a little boy is the speaker in this poem. Second, what would you do with your trunk if you were an elephant? Answer, if I were an elephant, I would use my nose to rinse myself in the bath. Third, which animal would you be if you liked to swim? Answer, I would like to be a dolphin. Fourth, when an ostrich gets scared, it buries its head in the sand. What do you do when you get scared? Answer, when I get scared, I think I would hide myself under the blanket or behind the door, even under the bed too. Okay children, do practice. We'll meet again. Zooming out.